Halloween Horror Nights commentary coming right at ya. <laughs> Obey the rules of Halloween, and you're good to go. This is All right, guys, so, uh, just two nights ago, we went to um, Halloween Horror Nights at Universal over here in Hollywood. Um, I went with um, four of my girlfriends, so there was five of us. It was so much fun. The tickets that we had received were the front of the line passes. Um, my advice to anybody that goes or is about to go or plans on going, literally opt for those. It's probably the best thing since sliced bread. You literally walk right into the houses and any ride at everything. Like there is zero wait. I think the longest line that we had waited to like an inn was to get into the theme park with our original tickets, so, uh, which was like five minutes. <laughs> it's crazy. three of us that had um, cameras that night, so don't mind our Blair Witch style of shooting and our obnoxious screams and whatnot inside the houses. <laughs> Anytime you're at like an event like this where there's like creepy actors who are their mission is to scare you and you're in a group of girls, you're automatically at target. <laughs> So off we go to our first house, which was um, the Halloween house. And um, the best thing about all of these houses is the way they set them up on the outside. So for the Halloween house, it was obviously Michael Myers house and we just walked right on in. Caution, there are some spoilers of what some of the insides of these houses look like. Oh my god, I'm so scared I could just die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I am such a chicken when it comes to like haunted houses and stuff to some degree. Um, 
when things inside the house have to like stay stationary, you know, like they don't leave their area and they like, you know, again, they're just positioned, I'm good to go. But when they like can follow you into the next room and they're like stalking you, or if it's like pitch dark and they like surprise you, you know, in the dark, that's where I'm just like, you get so scared. <laughs> okay, just go. You want to know who he was staring at or stalking, should I say? Looks like floating heads, right? No, they they had they were wearing they were people and they were wearing all black with like a glow in the dark mask. So they kept coming out of like the walls. They just looked like floating pumpkins, but they were actual people. <laughs> So we get out of the Halloween house. It was amazing. Um, I just, I really love all the thought that they put into the houses. Obviously, A, the outside, you know, you're walking into what is, you know, his house. Um, I just love how elaborate it could be, you know, but the Halloween house, again, spoiler alert, it's like scenes from different parts of the, of all of the Halloweens, you know, but, um, in my opinion, it was probably the least scariest house out of every single one that we had went to. Um, I don't know if it was just because they had to stay so stationary, which I'm good with that. <laughs> Next, we decided to go into American Horror Story. <sighs> I was really, really excited to see um, how they were going to play this one out. Um, it's obviously one of my all-time favorite shows, and the house was supposed to be, or is set up, to feature The Murder House Season 1, uh, Freak Show Season 4, and Hotel Season 5. who that old dude was that popped out to scare the shit out of us it was like pitch dark and he come he popped out and no idea but he startled the shit out of us clearly oh my God! Oh my God, in like in the freak show there were like six or seven twisties like in one area um, they probably should have gapped him out maybe a little bit but Nonetheless, 
he's obviously a focal point on on scariness, so. had Edward Mordrake in the freak show area and uh, he had like the best face behind him. It actually looks like another person. So that one was pretty cool. Oh, that was so good. Obviously coming out of American Horror Story, our minds were blown. That was literally, in my opinion, out of all of the haunted houses, that one by far was the best. It also too wasn't extremely scary, it was just so visually stimulating. Like everything that they had decor in there, the freak show area was so dialed. It was like the devil's you know, head and you walk through his mouth just like the show and um, hotel was so on point too with like the countess, the guy coming out of the mattress, um, literally so spot on with all the hotel rooms they had lined up. It was definitely my favorite as far as the way they had set it up and decored it. It was perfect. Next we went into another like purge area. Then from there, we went to Freddy versus Jason's. Um, the outside said Craven, for Wes Craven, obviously. Okay. Uh, 
Also, here's just like a tiny glimpse of how fast it is to like get through and walk right into um, the houses versus having to wait in line. So again, if I could ever shed some light and give you some advice is opt for the front of the line passes. So worth it. And our serial killer screaming. Freddy versus Jason recap, um, so good. It was really good. It was it actually got me in a few areas. I was like scared <laughs> and trying to like get into the next area. Um, I loved how it had it featured both of them. It was like you'd walk into a section, and he, you know, Jason would be on one side and Freddy would be on the other. And um, there was even a part where you went to like Camp Crystal Lake and it shows Jason's mom and she was so, she was so on point. <laughs> um, but yeah, that one was a really, that was a really good house. I liked that one a lot. You know, us just being, well, us. <laughs> Next, we mosey on over to The Exorcist, which, again, all night long, looking on this board of like how long certain wait times were, The Exorcist was forever the house that had the longest wait. Um, I think we waited in a one minute line, but it's like, the again, the exterior, so good. They were playing like the music. Um, it was perfect. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
there was a part inside of The Exorcist, um, one of the rooms where it's like, uh, you know, the projectile vomit part. And um, we're walking by her and it's like actually spraying crud out of her mouth. It like touched my leg and the whole room smelled like liquid ass, like a dead carcass, a dirty hamper, shit, and whatever else nasty you could possibly think of. It was rough. <sighs> My, my recap on The Exorcist was, um, that was probably my second favorite house to have gone into. Again, everything was really elaborate down to um, each of her demonic episodes. Each room you went into was a different situation. Um, so well played and the outside loved it. So that one was very good. Next, we piled onto um, the terror tram, Eli Roth's terror tram, um, in lieu of his movie Clown. We got dumped off in this little area and um, of course I had to go find what looked like the creepiest clown there. We just walked through this area that was, you know, again, just filled head to toe with clowns. Um, on the on the tram, they tell you to look out for this one specific one, and we did find him. <laughs> Stopped at the Bates house to take a picture with Norman. Oh, 
let it go. So the only two houses that we didn't get footage of was um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Krampus. I'm actually really bummed about the Krampus because um, it was all operator error by the way. <laughs> totally on us for having camera issues or whatever it was. But Krampus, the outside of that, that house was so good. God, it was so good. It was like, you know, the house all covered in snow and it had you know who on top. It was amazing. And even inside the house, um, it was, they tried to make it really cold in there. Like there was snowing inside. So I really loved and appreciated that. Texas Chainsaw Massacre was also fantastic, but stunk the whole way through. I think they did that on purpose to make it smell like ham and dead carcass and shit and nasty stuff. So that one was good, but rough. <laughs> so anyways, I hope you guys had fun um, checking out this vlog and my commentaries about Halloween Horror Nights at Universal. It was so much fun. I would totally go again. Um, front of the line passes. You got to do that. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Love you as always, and thanks for tuning in. Have a frightfully good rest of your week, you guys, and I'll see you soon.